Yo, 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 what it do, fam? What's going on, everybody? The Gapster is in the building. Let me get my volume up. Yes, sir. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to make this long, man. We're going to let a couple people get in here. We're going to get to rocking out, man. We're going to start rocking out. Rocking out, rocking out. Rocking out, rocking out. See who is in the building. We ain't got nobody in the building yet. We're gonna wait a few minutes. We're gonna wait a few minutes, y'all. A few minutes. Get at least about 10 people in here. What's good? Who that just came in the chat, man? What's going on with you? State your name. State your name. State your name in the comments. <clears throat> we got three people watching. Four people watching. What's good, man? Y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up, man. We got four people who should have four thumbs up. Wipe your feet before you come into the building, man. Wipe your feet before you come into my house. Yes, sir. Let's go. We're going to wait for a few more people to jump in, man. We don't want to get started too early. Wait for a few people to come on in, and then we're going to go in. Get this box open. Man, so I'm excited about this one, man. Uh, been waiting on this one to come for a long, long time. They've been released overseas. Um, I say they probably released overseas about two months, almost three months ago. And they finally got to the States. Who Rock 305? What's going on? Charles Green, what's going on? Wheels Down RC, what it do? What it do? What it do? What's going on, y'all? What's popping out there tonight in RC Land on a Friday, man? What's going on out there? Wheels down. What you got going on? Who rock 305? What it do, man? You 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 RC in this weekend? I'm gonna get out Sunday, man. Last weekend I was under the weather, man. I was sick. I had got the flu right after I did the unboxing of the. Uh, the uh, HBI Borza, I caught the flu, man, and I was out of there, man. And then right now, I'm battling sinus. The weather is changing down here in Georgia. It's starting to get cold, so I'm battling, battling the sinuses, man. And my sinuses are going crazy right now. Um, so if I start coughing, y'all excuse me. If I sneeze, excuse me. Just give me all a warning ahead of time. Uh, let me see it wheels down. Yeah, and they got them. They got them on sale. The uh, uh, wheels down. The ones that's not the the hopper. The um, I think that's the Monte Carlo. They got them on sale for like three three fourteen. But you gonna have to get it straight from Red Cat. If you <coughs> try to get it from any of these other dealers, man, these other Red Cat dealers, they don't have them. They don't have them. It's gonna be hard to get. And it's crazy. Why would you put something on sale and it's hard for people to get? That don't make sense. Um, like some of their stuff on, on sale, they have they're plentiful, so they're easy. Like if you want the Red Cat Kaju and all them ones like that that's on sale, you can get that easy because everybody has a has a ton of them already. Uh, because they didn't sell as well as 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 good, so yeah, that's a tough one. There wheels down. Vince, what's going on, man? Vince Vargas, what it do? California, yeah, in certain places they do, but I think see, I think out west is they're easier to get because I think that's where they're based out of. I think they're based out of uh, I want to say Salt Lake City. Um, I want to say. Don't, don't get me wrong, but I know they do a lot of business over there with, with, with the West Coast guys. Like that guy who does that, uh, the Red Cat little live videos every day. I think he's on, he's out on the West Coast as well. <coughs> Arizona is the headquarters. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, they, they tough to get, <coughs> get out here on the East Coast, man. They're very, very tough to get. Life 82, what's going on, brother?
You say, oh, who rock? Say, yes, sir, charging batteries. That's what's up, who rock? I ain't gonna get out tomorrow. Uh, I got a lot to do tomorrow, but Sunday, uh, that spot, if y'all saw that spot where I ran the boards up, Sunday I'll be up there. I got my ramp. Uh, I'm gonna take probably about five cars, man. I'm gonna get up there and make sure I do enough videos all week. So I'm back on my video grind. But with that being said, we got seven people, man. Let's go ahead and get this, uh, get this thing going. This video is sponsored by The Hobby Shop, Stockbridge, Georgia. Um, the, all, the, the best hobby shop in the land, man. Y'all make sure if y'all anywhere in Georgia, stop by there, holler at Glenn. Um, let them know Gap Reviews A to Z sent you. This is sponsored by The Hobby Shop, Stockbridge, Georgia. So let's get into it, baby. Let's get into it. This thing has a 2850KV motor. Um, it is 2S and 3S capable. Um, it has a 80 amp ESC, which is also 2, 2S to 3S compatible. It has a Metal Gear servo. Um, it comes with the, it comes with four gear differentials. Um, it has a slipper clutch. It does not have a center diff, it just has a front diff and a rear diff. And it has a slipper clutch. Uh, it has all field uh, shocks. Uh, adjustable shocks front and rear uh, but they're you know they're used with the preload they're not the twist down kind of they use the preload this is on the KB10 chassis uh, some people say that chassis been around for a while I, I don't have no have no clue because the only other Kyo show that I've owned uh, that I that I do own are uh, eight scales um, there's street cars and uh, I got one basher and then I have the mad van uh, so no further ado, let's get this box open and see which one I got. Uh, this is, I think this is awesome because it does have an aluminum chassis. It has an aluminum chassis, baby. So let's get this thing cracking, man. Let's get it cracking, baby. First things first, let's get into the box. Oh, they even give you an actual wrench that's awesome that's the first they give you a wrench with a handle i wonder is that a 2.0 or 2.5 that's pretty cool then you have your wheel wrench and probably your slipper clutch adjustment wrench right there that's awesome though this is the first i, I gotta get this out of the box i gotta get this out of the bag see what size is this is this is the kr the kb10 kyosho that's what it says on it kb10 kyosho it has the lock nut right there to hold it in place. That's awesome. Uh, this is size wise. I can't see it, but it looks probably like a, a 1.5. It looks like a 1.5. So that's awesome. That's the first. Way to go, Kyosho. They stepping up their game. Comes with an actual full tool. So that's pretty good. That'll come in handy. All right, in the next bag, you have uh, your preloads. Uh, you got the preload clips. It looks like you have some rod in, uh, plastic rod in pieces. Uh, you have a small wheel wrench. You have some Allen keys. You have a turnbuckle adjust adjuster tool. And you have your pistons that goes inside of the shocks. So these are all pretty good goodies. It's a little square thing here. I have no clue what it is, but it's something. And then this is what looks like another receiver box cover. So that's good. It comes with a nice little bit of tools, man. Nice little bit of tools. All right, moving on. with the Kyosho Synchro. This is the Synchro KT231P. The Synchro KT231P by Kyosho. Which this is a pretty good remote. <coughs> you have all, <coughs> excuse me. You have all your trims on the top right there. It has a nice foam right here. Foam wheel. This feels feels pretty good in the hand. Has a nice uh, red back strap back there. It's like plastic. It's like rubber, so it you know give you some good good grip. Pretty good uh, RTR remote. Uh, it's three channels. Pretty good. 
pretty good RCR remote. And last but not least, let's get to this bad boy. Let's get to this bad boy. Hey man, I, 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 it's, these uh, companies been robbing me of my of my plastic <laughs> lately. I like to, I like to take the plastic off, man. All right, and there's your books. You have a vine plug back there in the back. For just in case, the car's not bound, we go to the controller out of the box. And voila, there she goes. Kyosho Mad Wagon. Um, I went with the the gray, the light gray, dark gray, white, and red <coughs> theme. I'm just over the red, white, and blue body. <laughs> it's, it's, um, everybody's doing the red, white, and blue body. And I'm just over that. So I went with the ladder. Looks pretty good. Oh, it's a little bit bigger than what I actually thought it was. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit closer to the Mad Van. Um, because, you know, some of the scales are just different. What's going on, y'all? Let me see who came in the chat. We got Orange Mound. What's going on, Dave? What it do, my brother Dave? Oh, the brace is in there. It's in. There. I had it on all day, man. So I'm just taking a break from it. Uh, Sir Thizzle, what's going on, my brother? But yeah, I was like I said, I went with the uh, the gray color. Um, I'm just tired of that red, white, and blue uh, paint paint scheme on everything. So I went with the gray. This thing feels pretty sturdy, though. Not real big. I would say it's probably the size of a rustler. I don't have a rustler anymore. Um, the only thing tip scale that I have that would be close would be the big rock. So I'll bring my big rock out in a second and let y'all see the size comparison. Let's finish looking at it. I'm loving these roof skids on this body. That's pretty gnarly. It's pretty cool right there. Uh, wheels look pretty good. Feel like they're gonna balloon pretty good. I don't know. They're not real, real aggressive tread, so they may not give you really, really good um, grip on the loose dirt. Looks like they'll be pretty fine in the grass, so I may have to find another wheel option. The suspension seemed to be set up pretty flush, pretty flush though. Bouncing, coming right back up. So that's pretty good. That's always a good thing. So let's get these body clips off. Then we're gonna. Uh, Check up under the hood. I'm gonna talk to y'all in a minute, man. What's up, son? What's going on? Willie bar on the back as you can see that this is pretty pretty it's just it's adjustable I like my Willie bars to be down low because I don't want the truck to sit all the way up before the Willie bar catch so that's a pretty good spot for it you only gonna get about that <coughs> that much of a Willie before the Willie bar hits the ground so that you know the, the longer you have four wheels on the ground the faster the truck can go uh, so that's why I kind of like my Willie bar sit low I wonder is that the bottom? Yeah, see that's the bottom. I could I may come up slightly, but that's basically it's basically down to the bottom right there. Alright, you have a plastic chassis brace, center to center chassis brace. Looks like it's pretty stout. Composite plastic. Y'all can see that right there. The composite plastic. That is your 80 amp ESC. It's a hobby wing rebrand. Uh I can't think of what the name of it is, but it is just a hobby wing rebrand. And that is your 20. That can look big, though. That can looks nice size. I probably can fit a 2650 in here pretty easy. Um, but, yeah, that's that 2850 KV motor right there. And it has a Metal Gear servo, which uh, Kyosho servos out of the box, they're pretty decent. They're not great, but they're not trash. Um, so I'm gonna run this one to see how it does. <clears throat> this truck is just, it's just a little, it's, it's for me, it's going to be more like just a little fun basher. I'm not going to send it to the moon. I'm not going to race it. I'm not going to, you know, it's just going to be something that I can pull out in a smaller area and just have a good time with. Um, 
So you're looking at your shock towers. Your shock towers are plastic. You have plastic shocks, um, um, but there are, you know, they do have the preloads where you can uh, preload them, but the suspension feels pretty plush, so I probably won't touch it. Um, they give you adjustable, they give you an adjustment tool, so I thought it was gonna be some adjustable links back here, but it's not. Um, it's only some right here in the front, two right here in the front, and I don't, I think that's for the end, so whatever the end is. I think that's for the toe. Yeah, that's the toe because the camera is like this. So that's just for the toe. Um, you can change your toe. You have plastic drive shafts. They the telescopic drive shafts. They look pretty, pretty, pretty tough though. They don't you know. Like I said, I'm not gonna beat this truck up real bad, so it's not um should be should hold up fine. All right, you have a nice rubber bumper right there in the front. Pretty flexible, so it should be able to take a nice hard hit. Uh, you have plastic shock towers. I think I said that before, but yeah. Plastic shock towers. Uh, it has a Deans, one Deans plug. That's not that's that's a good thing. That's an easy fix. I just chop that off and put one XT90 on there. Uh, the battery tray looks like it'll hold your standard. It's like the, you're supposed to put the batteries up in the air, like this way. Instead of laying them flat, you put them up. So it looks like it'll take, you know, all most of the standard size 2S and 3S. Uh, the standard size 2S and 3S light bulbs like this size. It like it'll take most of the standard size. Let's check it right quick. Uh, it should take most of the standard size. If you want to put a big brick in here, it's not going to work. You're going to have to do some modifications if you want a big brick to work. Which I'm sure is, is feasible, is doable. So we're gonna check that and we're gonna flip the car over and check out the chassis. We're gonna answer a couple of questions and we're gonna get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on, man. I hate when those straps be being stubborn for the first time, taking them off. Good grief. They get some glue up under this thing or something? Am I taking it off in the right spot? Goodness gracious. There we go, three. That was tough. So yeah, your standard 3S pack, bam, fits in there perfect. So it's probably gotta be 5,200 milliamps or less. If you start getting up into 65 and you start getting those fat batteries, they're probably not gonna fit. <coughs> well, I know they're not gonna fit unless you do some modifications to that chassis. All right. Yes, sir. This is the part that's, that uh, made me want to get the truck. It is a 10 scale with a, I hear that? Metal chassis. Metal chassis, baby. A arms look pretty good. Uh oh, we got problems, though. We got problems. Look like we got some diff leakage. Yeah, look like we got some. Y'all see that? Right there? See that witness? Looks like we got some diff leakage in diff leakage so I'm gonna have to check that out I hate when stuff like that happens because it makes you have to work on the car when you first get it you can't even test it without having to go up under there and make sure everything you know open it up to make sure everything is good but it definitely has some diff leakage this chassis is damp but I mean that's that's very disappointing man the, the, the quality control is that's that's big for that's big. I'm big on quality control now. I'm very big on quality control. And I feel like stuff like that shouldn't get passed. Not leaky diffs. Now, you know, maybe, you know, some shock oil or something, but as far as those diffs, they shouldn't leak when you first get it. But that lets me know that at least it had diff fluid in it. Um, Vince, what's going on? So alright, I'm gonna get the mad van, put it into the mad van, show y'all the uh the difference in sizes between the mad van. And then I'm gonna put the big rock <coughs> uh, 3S up here, and we're gonna look at the size comparison to that, and then we're gonna get out of here. Hold tight, ladies and gentlemen.
Big Rock. Mad Van. I would say this truck is probably the exact size as the granite. Uh, the granite maybe sits up a little bit higher and the wheels may be a little bit bigger, but I would say it's about the size of the <coughs> armor granite. But here it is next to the big rock. I know the big rock was going to be longer. Definitely. Uh, I'm running the 2.8 Badlands on my big rock, but yeah, the big rock is a nice little bit longer. As you can see, maybe about inch and a half, maybe two inches longer. And then let's see the width. I'm uh, running bigger tires on my big rock. The width is almost, the width is very close. It's only maybe, maybe a quarter of a quarter of an inch wider. Uh, and I'm running bigger tires. So, as y'all can see that. So it's not it's not a big truck, but it's not a it's not small as the Mad Van either. So like I said, it's probably the size of a granite. It just don't sit up as high as a granite. It's more like a low slung monster truck uh, instead of that. You know that granite kind of has a high center of gravity. Uh, so let's get that out of the way. Here's the Mad Van. This is one of my babies right here. This will always be in my collection. Wheels are a little bit smaller, but. You can see the difference right there. You can tell that it's, it's, it's got the Mad Van by a good little bit. The Mad Van body over there, yeah, one the body won't even fit. <laughs> but I got this little thing right here on 3S, man. This thing is crazy on 3S. It's crazy on three heads, man. <laughs> It'll scare you in a, in a small area. It will scare you. All right, let's get those to the side. Main attraction right here. Let y'all see the other side for a few minutes. So there it is, man, in a nutshell. That's the Kyosho, it's on the new KB10. Well, I ain't gonna say new because I don't know, but it's on the KB10 chassis. And the regular mad vans and mad wagons and all that stuff, they're on uh, plastic chassis. But this is the mad van VE, 3S, uh, 2S, 3S, capable uh, monster truck. So I appreciate everybody. Uh, what's up, Coach? Coach D? What's up, Coach D? What's up, uh, Mr. Mad? Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Mad 24, 24. What's going on, man? Yeah, but. Yep, there it is, man. This video, like I said, is sponsored by The Hobby Shop, Stop Bridge, Georgia. Y'all go holla at Glenn. Um, let him know Gap Reviews A to Z sent you. Whatever you need, he can get it. If you don't already have it, he can get it for you. So y'all go holla at him. Check it out. All right, let's do a little talking, man. Let's do a little talking. Yeah, coach, coach, that's what I, I kind of rather they would have been empty, coach, than have them to go through it, man. You know me, I ain't like you. You go right through the cars off the rip. I don't like that, bro. I run mine first, and I change it if it <coughs> if it need to be changed. So it's basically forcing me to go in the inside. Um, but I just, I don't, I don't know. I probably still end, end up still running it before I go in the deal. Because <laughs> I really want to check. I really want to test these tires, coach. See how these tires hold up because if they don't hold up well, what is this? Probably a 12 millimeter up under there. This is a 14. Uh, I'll probably get another 70 uh, 2.8 Badlands. Uh, I know they'll do awesome on there. I'll get another 70 2.8 Badlands if these don't offer me the traction that I like. Uh, let me see. Oh 
yeah, man. I definitely have to uh I definitely have to do something different. I, I actually liked the red, white, and blue one, but like I said, it's so many, you know, I have so many cars that came red, white, and blue, it was just like, nah, go with the latter. Um and my brother Ryder Ken Alexan is getting um the blue one. So you know, so it's, so both of us gonna be running around with the same kind of car, same color car, you know. <clears throat> that's how we did that. But, yep, that's it. Vince Vargas said, oh, the color choice, I read that. Dave, what it do, Dave? Dave, where my 6 that's battery at, Dave? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we got seven, 18 people, 17 thumbs up, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate everybody. Y'all uh, speak now, help forever hold your peace, man. I'm going to get out of here in a minute, so let's, um, let's, let's talk for a minute. Oh, my brother coach don't know this yet. I'm telling him right now. Next week, we're going to go live whatever day that he has off, and we're going to talk about the new armor releases, the ones that ain't got here yet. The gaps that might know something. So we're gonna talk about these new armor releases. Um, um we're gonna talk about the TLR Tune Creighton. I'm gonna give y'all just a little bit. The TLR Tune Creighton or the TLR Tune Italian. So me and Coach gonna go live this week. So y'all keep your eyes out. I don't know exactly where I'm hoping Wednesday, because that's my that's that's the day that I'm normally free. Um, but I got to talk to him. So you hear me now, coach. <laughs> I'm talking to you now, bro. Who rock? Possibly the center slipper can be changed. I don't think so. I don't think so. I seen a guy, uh, he changed out the slipper. He changed the uh, slipper. The slipper is a 46 tooth and a 13 tooth pinion. He changed out the slipper for a 44 tooth and an opinion to a 50. Uh, 15 to and I saw how he did it. I don't know if it's enough space for another diff to go in there But if a lot of the 3s rigs the slipper clutch, they'd be pretty cool anyway Like your armor 3s rigs and your armor 4s rigs them slipper clutches do pretty good I mean, I know people having problems, but I haven't had a problem um, I even one of mine was even broken and my car still ran flawlessly. Um, it was broken on my uh my, my the original 4S outcast my slipper was messed up and the little drive shaft was actually broke on the end too it was in two pieces but once you put it in there it ran fine so I never did bother it yes All right, close the door you don't have to go in you can stay out just close the door okay yeah man so yeah yeah uh, hands down it was a 46 spur and a 13 pinion and buddy changed it to a 44 spur and a 15 pinion um, and it didn't look like it was enough space for a diff it didn't look like it was enough space for a diff but all in all it looks like a pretty pretty well built car um it actually looked like it'll it'll take it'll take a, it'll take a decent beating even though i'm not going to give it a decent beating um, it does look like it will take a decent beating. Though. It definitely, definitely will. Coach said they just won their third district championship in a row this past weekend. Oh, that's what's up, Coach. Oh, where's that? I'm announcing uh, girls volleyball region game. Oh, Coach. Well, Friday then, man. Whatever day you free, bro. Whatever day you free. Just let me know what day you free. That's when we're gonna do it. And we're gonna talk about the new armor releases. So y'all make sure y'all come check that out. Cause the gapster might know something. <laughs> the gapster might know something. All right, Friday, 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 nine o'clock. Friday, nine o'clock. Me and Coach going live. We're gonna talk about the new armor stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, all right, man. Everybody who's just coming in, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up, wipe your feet before you come into my house. I appreciate everybody coming to Rock Out with the Gapster. Uh, my son just came out here, so I know what that means. He's ready to play the game. 
So I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate y'all, man. Thanks for coming to rock out with me. This is the Kyosho Mad Wagon, the first in the United States. Yes, sir. And that's a fact. That is a fact. First in the United States on YouTube. I'll say that they did by YouTuber. But yes, first in the United States. But all right, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I get with everybody. Friday. I see y'all Friday. Uh, expect videos every day this week, man. Y'all check back in. I know a lot of times y'all don't get the notifications. I will be dropping a bash video every day this coming week. So make sure y'all stay around, man, and check it out. So I appreciate y'all. And uh, man, that.